Hello and welcome to today's scrap tip. Um, this is a really fun one that I'm going to be showing you and it's how you can weave like a corner of a photo and with a frame. So to, to illustrate this I'm starting out with um, uh, a picture of my daughter from a few years ago when she played soccer in her soccer uniform and I'm using our soccer kit, the frame from that. So I'm going to just zoom in a bit so that we can see it, we'll see what we're working with better. So as you can tell from the layers here, and from looking, the, the photo is underneath the frame. But I'm wanting to have this corner right here be on the outside of the frame rather than all, all of the photo under the frame. So almost as if I were going to tuck it in or whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to place my photo kind of how I want it. As you can see, I've got the whoops, a little bit corner of the photo coming out here. Okay, so now to do this, I'm going to highlight the frame photo on my layer palette, make sure that that's the one that is active, and I'm going to change the opacity of it down quite a bit so that I can see it, but I can also see my photo underneath. Okay, and while that is still activated, I'm going to go up and choose my um, polygonal lasso tool. And I'm just going to come up here to this corner. And I'm going to start it just on the outside of this, on the inside of this corner, sorry. And then I'm just going to kind of follow. Whoops. Okay, let me just undo that. Take a step backwards there. Okay, so I'm going to go here from the corner and I'm just going to kind of bring it gradually out to the corner here of my photo. So I'm following the photo even though I'm doing it on the layer. The active layer is that of the frame. So I'm going to come all the way down here to the corner and then I'm going to bring it here. Now, because I'm wanting to kind of fade it back in so that I don't have my whole photo, I'm going to find a place here to click. And then I'm just going to gradually get back to the corner so that it will cut off part of this frame. And we'll just see how it looks. Sometimes. Sometimes I don't like the way that it looks and I have to redo it, but then I'm just going to connect it here. So this way my marching ants is around the photo, but it's for the frame portion. So if I take the opacity of my frame back up and then I click delete, delete, then it takes out part of the, the um, photo here. So I can deselect it. Now, it does do a decent job of um, making it look like the photo is, is weaving through. I'm not really happy with this part of it. So with this still activated, I'm going to change the opacity a little bit more. And I'm just going to come click on this corner and maybe just come down just a little bit and then connect it. So maybe it'll just look a little more even. So we'll delete that. Bring up the opacity there. That way it just looks a little more, I don't know, uh, even there. Now I can add my um, shadows and zoom out. And I now have part of my photo coming out and I can decorate the rest of my layout and it just gives a super cute little extra flair to it. I hope this was helpful and I can't wait to see what things you try with it.